Shozi cat versus Abyssinian cat. What are the differences between these two cat breeds? The Shozi is a mixed breed cat a cross between the Abyssinian and wild jungle cat breeds. Energetic, playful, and outgoing, these felines inherited some of the best traits and distinctive looks from their parents. They're also one of the largest domestic cat breeds. As you'd expect from a breed with wild cat roots, the Shozi is a feline who needs a lot of space and requires a lot of playtimes. This is not a cat who does well being left alone all day, and due to their wild heritage, they're also not the best fit for a household with young children. A love of heights is a signal trait of the Abyssinian. He likes to be as high up as possible and will appreciate having one or more ceiling height cat trees. The Shozi's coat comes in three colors, brown tabby, solid black and grizzled tabby. When it comes to climate, the Shozi is generally an adaptable breed of cat. Although, you should always make sure that there's enough shade and fresh water available during the hotter months. The Abai is often said to look as if he had just walked straight out of the wild. That's because of his tick coat pattern, which resembles that of wild cats such as cougars. A ticked coat is alternating light and dark bands of color on each hair shaft. Everything about him suggests his lively, attentive nature. The Abai has a slightly rounded wedge-shaped head topped with large, broad ears, the better to hear you with. Large, almond-shaped eyes of gold or green express interest in everything they see. On the face, dark lines may extend from the eyes and brows. First of all, there's no getting around the fact that the Shozi retains a lot of their wild cat traits. This breed will be active for long spells of the day and prefers to act in an athletic manner, rather than a delicate and dainty one. The Shozi is a cat who makes a lot of demands on its owner and needs a high degree of interaction and playtime. In many cases, the breed has shown a willingness to play fetch with toys. The Shozi is also known to be a very intelligent feline so you'll want to constantly keep them challenged with a series of smart and interactive toys that you rotate on a regular basis. Still, despite the Shozi's energetic traits, they're also a cat who will form very strong and loving bonds with the adult humans in their life, and there's definitely an affectionate side to the feline. Of all the cat breeds, the Abyssinian is perhaps the one who lives life to the fullest. He climbs higher, jumps farther, plays harder. Nothing escapes the notice of this highly intelligent and inquisitive cat, a quality that makes life with him both endlessly entertaining and continuously challenging. Staying a step ahead of an abai, as the breed is nicknamed, or even just keeping pace with him, requires the fancy footwork of a Fred Astaire, the brain power of an Einstein, and a sense of humor that never stops. You never know what he'll get into next, although you can assume that if you have something or are doing something, your abai will want to investigate it closely. Some people refer to the cats as abai grabby because of their propensity for taking things that catch their interest. Sometimes it may seem as if the abai never sleeps. He is ever in motion, jumping up in the window to look at birds or squirrels, leaping on top of the refrigerator to supervise meal preparation, perching on your desk to watch your fingers move over the keyboard, and then swiping at them so you'll pay attention to him instead. This is a playful, persistent cat who adores being the center of attention, and will do anything to achieve and maintain that status. The Abai loves to play, so plan on making or purchasing a variety of toys to keep him occupied. Ping pong balls, bottle caps, watered up pieces of paper, puzzle toys, and teasers such as big peacock feathers will all amuse this busy and brainy cat. Teach him to retrieve at your peril. Once you start, he won't let you stop. He learns tricks quickly and many abais enjoy running a feline agility course. A love of heights is a signal trait of the Abyssinian. He likes to be as high up as possible and will appreciate having one or more ceiling height cat trees. When those aren't available, he is perfectly capable of making his way to the uppermost point of any room. Fortunately, he is naturally graceful and rarely breaks items unless it is simply out of curiosity. Abais are adaptable throughout their lives and fit well into any home where they are loved and given plenty of attention. In a home where people are at work or school during the day, the abai does best with a companion, ideally another abai, who can match his activity level. If left to his own devices, the abai may well dismantle the house in his search for something interesting to do. Hello! This video is sponsored by Bmix Pets. Are you looking for high-quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. As with all cats, it's important to keep up your showsies regular veterinary checkups to detect any health concerns early. Your vet can help you develop a care routine that will keep your cat healthy. It's important to note that the showsie requires a very specific diet that's totally comprised of meat. Feeding the breed cat foods that include grains and plant matter can lead to digestion issues. Beyond diet, you'll definitely want to add at least one scratching post to your living environment. 
This can help promote healthy scratching and keep the cat's nails in good condition. As with any breed that has high energy levels, the showsy will need to be provided with enough space to run around and explore, so you'll want to add a couple of cat trees to your living situation. It is essential that the showsy can partake in enough exercise not least to ward off the chances of feline obesity sets in. The short, fine coat of the Abyssinian is easily cared for with weekly combing to remove dead hair and distribute skin oils. A bath when the cat is shedding will help to remove excess hair more quickly. Brush the teeth to prevent periodontal disease. Daily dental hygiene is best, but weekly brushing is better than nothing. Trim the nails every couple of weeks. Wipe the corners of the eyes with a soft, damp cloth to remove any discharge. Use a separate area of the cloth for each eye so you don't run the risk of spreading any infection. Check the ears weekly. If they look dirty, wipe them out with a cotton ball or soft damp cloth moistened with a 50 to 50 mixture of cider vinegar and warm water. Avoid using cotton swabs, which can damage the interior of the ear. Keep the litter box spotlessly clean. Cats are very particular about bathroom hygiene, and a dirty box may cause them to start using other places in the house instead. It's a good idea to keep Shosie and an Abyssinian as an indoor-only cat to protect them from diseases spread by other cats, attacks by dogs or coyotes, and the other dangers that face cats who go outdoors, such as being hit by a car. Cats who go outdoors also run the risk of being stolen by someone who would like to have such a beautiful cat without paying for it. The Shosie is not usually recommended as a cat who does well with young children. This is because the breed retains some wild instincts and traits from their jungle cat heritage. When it comes to other household pets, the Shosie fares well with many domestic animals, especially dogs. However, you'll want to supervise early interactions between the new cat and existing pets. The active and social Abyssinian is a perfect choice for families with children and cat-friendly dogs. He will play fetch as well as any retriever, learns tricks easily and loves the attention he receives from children who treat him politely and with respect. He's smart enough to get out of the way of toddlers but loves school-age children because they are a match for his energy level and curiosity. Nothing scares him, certainly not dogs, and he will happily make friends with them if they don't give him any trouble. Abais have also been known to get along with large parrots, ferrets and other animals. Ultimately, early socialization really pays off with this breed. Make sure to reward your showsy for good behavior when you bring them home to your family. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.